We are here with our blunder versus the bus. I think there's a first circle joke, but I'm 100% sure. I didn't have time to check the thread in the forum. Maybe it's just for fun. But yeah, Blunder brought Sticky Web and he led off with, um, not with the Smeagol, he led off with the Mimikyu. As the Coco U turns out, if he's probably, um, Magnet Coco, we don't see a Life Orb. If I was, I'm gonna, okay, go for Power Whip and. Smeagol can definitely not put something, like, obviously not put something to sleep, because. Electric Turin is up and Ferrothorn is a grass type, so he can he has to decide whether he wants to put webs up or rocks and he decides to put webs up. Webs up pretty nice to help Bishop outspeed. I think Bishop outspeeds uh, Coco with rocks up, uh, with, with, with webs up, with God, I can talk. So, like, this Bishop is a huge threat. I don't remember if it's a. Uh, is it Life Up or is it Dark Blade? Or, like, Dread Blade. I assume we're gonna see an SD or knockoff here. SD again as Pelipper should be defensive and get out sped by Bishop exactly. Pelipper dies. Now Kingdra Kingdra doesn't beat it, because Kingdra would um Yeah, this dies to Iron Head, so I think Blender just wins. Bishop should definitely outspeed, uh, if it's Jolly, should definitely outspeed Coco with Sticky Webs up. Yeah, like he doesn't really have counterplay with his Bishop. <laughs> so it looks like Banner just wins. I guess it could be Scarf Coco, which would be wild. But yeah, if it's Dreadblight, it might even die to Sucker Punch. Okay, so Blunder predicts the Scarf Coco, I assume. He goes hard Zygon on the Thunder. Um, if it's really Scarf Coco, he gets the he gets the free Dragonlance here. I mean, you can call first. Call is nice to take hits better from. Like. You can potentially level Ice Punch on Medi Gym after two calls. But nah, I think the Medi Gym would just die anyway, plus one. Okay, so it's not Scarf Coco. So I don't know if he's Adamant Bishop. I never used the Sticky Webs team, so I don't remember if it's Adamant or Jolly, but I think it's Jolly. He just goes for Southern Arrows, okay. That did pitiful damage. You see, it's defense of Landorus with leftover, so potentially to protect Landorus. Um, I don't know if this is like a forms team from NGNP, but I know NGNP has like a webs rain, not a webs team, a rain team with Medicham in the forums. Uh, so I don't know. <laughs> Why didn't he SD there? I guess he went in case he went hard Coco. He just wanted to get some damage off. So yeah, that makes sense. There's not really a point in SD as long as the Coco's around, so they just I take back what I said. <clears throat> Sex of the Land Rose, which um, gives him a free switch in Kingra. Kingra should outspeed this in the rain, but there's only one turn of rain. So yeah, Blana has basically to choose, pick his, has to pick his father here. Mm. Hmm. I don't think the Mimikyu does that much this game. Because the disguise is broken, I think, isn't it? I think the disguise got broken turn 1 by u turn. Yup. So I don't see Mimikyu doing much, especially as long as the first one is around. And like, Shadow Snake only hits many Gem for super effective, and like, everything else eats it. Uh, yeah, I guess it webs up your speed. King draw outside of rain. And you can kill a little player off, but Ferrothorn was dead anyway, and I don't really see a point in keeping the Mimikyu. Um, Zygarde is potentially nice to have. Um, I can probably take an HPS from Coco and kill it back. But yeah, um, Ferrothorn is really nice in this matchup for the boss, so. Well, however this case called, I will look up his forms name after. If this is 3D for the tournament, then I think it is for.
yeah, I think it would take the Mimikyu, but maybe Blunder has a tactical master plan. I mean, you just like surf here, right? I don't think you have to risk Hydro Pump. Surf should do enough damage to everything. As I most Kingdras run, choice Spags, but you see Life Orbs sometimes. So he finally decides to sack off his bishop as we see the serve come out as I thought it would do. And okay, he didn't decide to sack the mimic I feel like bishop was kind of nice because it sets up on Ferrothorn. But what do I know? <laughs> I'm just a random player. I'm not a tournament player. So we see a supersonic sky strike just blow this king on the wind. Okay, it eats it up, but like. It did a lot basically, and you can go for Giga Rain here, slash, air uh, slash. Yeah, I don't know if Giga Rain kills, he will obviously know if he runs the Kalk. But air slash makes more sense overall. Ferrothorn will get bopped by Fire Blast. Okay, he goes for Giga Rain. This will die to Fire Blast, so I could see a pivot back here into Kingdra, yeah. Not really sure what this pivot, what this does, like. I guess he scouted for the Fire Blast, but it was pretty obvious that he had Fire Blast, so that doesn't really do anything. Going Ferris on there and then going back to Kingra didn't really do anything. He could have just sacked the Kingra in the first place. So Coco, um. Utah Misa, Utah Misa Thunder, so I don't know if he has HPI, he probably. Okay. Yeah, he was kind of forced to go for the electric move. Because there was a plus one Celesteela in front of him, and I think we're gonna see a Dragon Dance. This time from the Zygar or Coil. Okay, we just see South Narrows. I thought he would drain that. Because then you cannot speed the Coco 100% the next turn and kill it off anyway. Thirty percent. Is it the standard citrus berry um Zygar that Sticky Whips runs? Okay, so Celesteela misses a Fire Blast on the Coco, that would have done like, um, maybe 40%, but Leeches would have healed something back. But it obviously still sucks for Blunt, he hits the Thunder, which is uh, kind of lucky, to be honest, 70% uh, accuracy, it's like a Focus Blast. I don't know if he even has Dragon Dance, he, all he did is click Thousand Arrows so far, this should be the Double Dance Coil, Dragon Dance, Thousand Arrows, Eve Beat set, if I recall correctly. But he's just going to U-turn to Ferrothorn again. I mean, if the Zygarde had substituted, it would be nice for Banner, because the guy that like, keeps going for Lee with his Pharaoh, or just did it once at least, and so he's assuming this doesn't have sub, which most of the web teams, they don't have s Actually, it doesn't have leftovers, so yeah, it's pretty unlikely to have. It's probably just the Citrus standard set, yeah. That substitute would be pretty nice to catch the Ferrothorn of guard and get a free sub up. And then you can call it so the Ferrothorn can't break his sub anymore if you get the play correct. But yeah, we already know it's probably not that sad with sub. Which sucks for Blunder. Even though it's kinda... Like in this scenario it's kinda risky to go for sub anyways, cause I was thought of an HPI potentially, but we see the Guardian of Alola, which is 75% of the health that the Mon is at currently. So there's the Dragon and the Citrus Berry, so we confirm the standard set. So I, I didn't expect Guardian of Alola, I thought so HPIs would come out. Okay, so that's not a tweet kill. Unless he gets a crit. Um, you see Power Whip. Could have potentially gone for D again there. Maybe with Leech Sheet he wouldn't have even killed that plus 2 with Leech Sheet plus leftovers on the Ferro Thorn, so I can understand that play. As Medicham is gonna go for Fake Out here probably. Yep. Makes a smart play of going Mimikyu 
Um, well, how much health did the Zygote have? 193. I think I probably would have killed knowing many champs super strong, especially if it's adamant in nature. And so I think we're gonna see um, the Pharaoh thing being gonna big for Blunder. He can just go for player off here. Okay, he doesn't want to risk missing. Shadow Claw has high crit ratio. I don't think that crit matters since it's alive. What Mimic and Medicham is not that bulky, but yeah, I don't think it matters. I don't really see the point in running a card. I'm pretty sure Medicham dies to that. And he has to hit a Sana to kill this Mimic and he's slower too. So the Zygot should win this game. As he keeps hitting his Sana, this Mimic lives, gets paralyzed. So this makes the Coco faster and does the full power on the Shadow Sneak, which sucks, but for some reason he decided to go for U turn. So Blana gets off Shadow Sneak damage. So if he didn't get para that is Coco already would have been I don't know if it would have been dead, he probably would have died alive up anyway. And yeah, Blana the Coco is in E speed range, so Blana picks off the very close 1-0 victory. And I will go to forums and check if this really was for the circle job tour if I, or if I was mistaken. So yeah, as you guys can see here, we see the boss was Blunder. So this was for um circle job tour, so I actually have a really good nose to like catch these tournament games. It's like I just finished some work and then I was like, let me check smoke tours and I'm like, wow, there's Blunder playing. So let me record this in case this is for a certain tournament. So and, and some guy um asked me to record the Blunder's team's game. So I was I will definitely try to get more of those, but it's kind of hard because like I'm not always on smoke tours. Like I'm on smoke tours a lot, but it's like hard to catch those. I probably have to write these names down to remember them. So Anti's playing Poet TDK and I think John is um. Brofist, I think he changed his Smogon name to John, if I recall correctly. So Blunder's team, I don't know if you have a score, let me see if anyone posted he won. Um, P2 won yesterday, I missed that. I mean, I saw the game happen, but my record, my computer, I saw it on phone and I started my computer and the game was over when I wanted to record. I think this was the first game of the series. Oh yeah, my man BTB is playing versus Tony this week. His team is also still in this. So that's going to be an interesting match for sure. Stay tuned for that. I th if I'm not going to be able to catch it live, I'll catch the... I'll record the replay for you guys. So yeah, I think the Johnny Torzellini game, which is Blunder's team, should be a 1-0. Because I don't see a win GG win post from any other member than Blunder yet. Like, but I didn't see any other games. Yeah, yeah, Blunder just made his post. 1GG was the boss, so however you pronounce this guy, sorry if I butchered your name, and thank you guys for watching, I'll see you with some more tournament content, uh, probably OUPL coming up this weekend, and what else, not probably, OUPL is coming up for sure, um, probably maybe a guest live from a man's BTB, uh, maybe I will join him for the recording too, I'll see how busy I am, and thank you guys for watching, I'm out, and peace.